All right, everyone, welcome to Pacific Drive. We got an opportunity to jump into the demo. So let's see what this is about. Looks like we're a delivery company delivering to Brookstone. Stay on the roads. Oh, that's better. Okay. Sorry, everybody. We're just trying to figure out all the controls. So we're in a little van, a little paperwork for Explore Pacific Drive. Lights on, wipers on. Excuse me. I've been wanting to play this demo. I've been really looking forward to it. But I missed the last opportunity. And now I get to play it. And I'm playing it on mouse and keyboard. So if I'm a little jerky on the steering, that would be why. Sorry, everybody. That's just kind of nature of the beast. I don't feel like hooking up my controller. But yeah, Bacchus is going to be on eventually. He's uh, had to slip into work, accomplish a few things today. Be a good person of society. And I think we'll have a pretty interesting recording session when this game comes out got some pretty cool ideas to incorporate a single player as a multiplayer mindset but weather's getting a little nasty Should probably turn my lights on beautiful scenery though look at it Beautiful scenery. Sorry, I already got my lights on. Sorry. Warning, high risk, high R level facility. Extreme caution advised. All right, I don't know what R levels are. Radiation levels? Like Chernobyl? be kind of cool big nuclear engineering guy here love me some nuclear engineering IR level facility use extreme caution launch a construction facility ahead parabolic periodic Jeez, I've been playing Phasmophobia too much, guys. Periodic volume warning. 80 plus decibels. Next 15 miles. Well. Can't read you. Thanks so much for staying on the road. I hope I'm not like a little van. Eh, I am a little van. Kind of like a little Voyager or something. I don't know what's up with that. But we're just gonna drive right on past it. Now I watched Komodo play this. I was really hoping Obi would have played it. Another two great YouTubers. If you haven't followed them or haven't seen their stuff, highly recommend watching them. They're probably two of my go-to guys to watch. Why do the rock formations keep changing here? Kind of weirding me out. Uh, I don't know what to think about this. Uh oh. 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 Oh no 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 no. White screen. At least it's not a blue screen. Ooh. Oh. Am I on the other side of the wall now? I don't think I'm supposed to be on this side. The Olympic Exclusion Zone. That's probably my door. Probably my engine. My tire. I 
I don't want these packages back. A headlight. I'd like to know what happened to my van. Bunch of radiation. I mean, very pretty game. Very pretty game. Oh, I got kicked that. Hello? Someone out there? Yeah, I'm out here. Hello? I'm out here. Uh, what a swan, eh? Ah, uh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. I'm not Francis. I'm Indy. Put the wheel back on. Where's the wheel? Not in the back of the car. I didn't do anything. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? Yeah, I hear you. I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Yeah, me. I'm out here. Someone tell me why I'm out here and in here and where did this station wagon come from? Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Yeah, it, it's Hello? working. Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Oh. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they mean they're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get there. I need fuel. Somebody left me a station wagon with no fuel. Why does my gas can look like it's held on there by... Well, I don't know. I, I... Something from aliens? Ooh, radiation. Hey, whoa, 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 wait, hey, hold the phone. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? No kidding. Could it be? I don't know. A remnant? That What's a remnant? Be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. Uh, well, no, no, no. What, what we should be looking What's at remnant? is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. What's a remnant? Somebody explain that when to me. Find that shelter. Go on and let yourself in. Alpi ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Uh, who's Oppie? Someone like to explain Oppie to me? I mean, same thing like a Bacchus. I know what a Bacchus is.
Oh boy. Tire fell off again. I can't pick it up. Yeah, well, I guess I'm a little rough with it. Sorry, car. But I, I worked as a mechanic once or twice. I think I know how to fix up a car. Locked. Locked. Don't think that tire's any good any longer. Open. Close. Nope. Look the main breaker. Well, that was obvious. Ah, Oppie? Ah, Oppie. Wow, that tire's flat too. Seconds to get the hell out before I... Ow! Oh, my head. Uh, Some emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a breacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant. Which has taken the form of a car, and well, uh, oh. get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's ten years and seventeen volumes. No, please don't. <sighs> that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <laughs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Who's Arda? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Yeah, I, I Wait, definitely got zapped. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Well, I will if you help me. Oh, God, unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. Okay. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. No, they're not soft. I was a mechanic for years. What? Oh, you need help? Well, there's a headset somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. The sink? Pick up the backpack from the table. No backpack on that table. There's a backpack on that table. Got it. Got it. I do, oh, I do have wounds. Alright, fix the car. What do we need? Okay, so we need tires first. Let's go find some tires. Yeah, I know. It fell off earlier. Don't tell me I gotta pick it back up. Easy. Okay, crude door panel. Okay, grab items from the abandoned car out back. A 
would if you'd let me open it. No engine. Do I need a tool? I'd like a tool. Ah, I do need a tool. Yeah, take that. Take that. And let's take some duct tape. What is that? It's pry bar. Yeah. Gather yeah, runs from abandoned car, search abandoned car, equip pry bar. Okay. There we go. Plastic, plastic, road flare, road flare. What's in the trash can? Throw flares? Ooh. What are you? Oh. A scrapper. This thing is sweet. That thing is freaking awesome for doing this. Yeah, I need one tire. So let me cut up your two tires so far. You have three. Ooh, you got more stuff back here? Yeah, give me all of it. Take wood? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So any other vehicles out here? What's in here? This is like some type of jet turbine? I'd like to know what you're using that for there, lady. Another car, wheelbarrow, seats. Porta John? I don't know if I want to go in there. I don't think there's been anybody here to uh, use that. So let's not take a chance. I need a spare tire. I need more rubber. What about a crude door? I can craft a crude door. Yeah, there we go. Get the repair putty from the locker. Where's the locker? There it is. Ooh, tire. I want that. What is that? Chemicals? Repair putty. Mechanics kit, essential equipment. What if I put all this over here for right now? And put the repair putty there. It's some magical stuff. Just a little bit of goop. Make everything look new. I'll fix my window too since it's fixing the door. 
Doesn't seem to. All right. 1947. Ah, oh, it's even fixing the bumper. Check that out. Dang. This is some good stuff. Yeah, I already grabbed the spare. Sorry, car. And the loose wheel. I just put that wheel on. How is it loose? Okay. Quick mechanics kit. Yeah. In preparation. Okay. Like, tell me what else to do, lady. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Okay. Inventory's full. So let's go back over here and put some stuff in my inventory that I don't need to take with me. Okay. One craft mat in the back of my car. Install oh, arc oh. device. <clears throat> There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. No, I don't want to get in. Get back out. Give me that. That thing's crazy. Look at that thing. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Uh, I hope to live well long enough to survive to get back out of here. First aid kits from the locker. Uh, I already have them, I think. And the first aid kits in here. All right, where's the first aid kit locker? Ah, right, there they are. I go in that pocket. All right, store items in your drive. Trunk of the car, road flares, first aid kit, fuel can. Road flares. First aid kit. Uh, road flares. What else I need? Scrapper. Probably not just rather leave my scrapper. Okay, whatever.
Okay. Let's move my car because I got to pick up whatever I dropped. Shift, control, that, that. Okay. Duct tape. All right, park off and we'll get back out. All right, I need one more first aid kit. Any more first aid kits? Am I just too dumb and I don't see another first aid kit? I must be. I must be rather dumb. I know you want me to do that, but I need another first aid kit. Trust me, I would do it if I could. Ah, there it is. It was on the ground. Too dumb. See that, guys? I am just too dumb. All right, got the gear blueprint at the front of the garage. I got the impact hammer blueprint at the front of the garage. That looks the exact same. Refuel my car. Yeah, fill her on up. I don't know what fuel prices are, but. So they're cheaper than where I am. Go switch and charge the battery. If you're all set, mm. take a look at the projector against the wall. Projector against the wall? This ah. is a zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye. Yeah. And it does. Constantly. Okay. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. All right, well, everyone, that's the first episode of Pacific Drive. I'm kind of excited. My car's back up and running. She's not the prettiest thing. But she'll work. Our goal is to get out of this exclusion zone. Get away from the R radiation, the Ralphs, the radishes, whatever the R level is, we're getting away from it. And stay tuned. I hope to do some more of this. I'm really looking forward to the game coming out. It's only a little over a week away. So stay tuned. I plan on putting out as many of these as I can before the demo's gone. 
And if you like it, leave a like, leave a subscribe, comment. I like hearing from you guys. If you enjoy how I play, you enjoy me, check out some of our other good videos. Until next time, everybody. See ya.